Hello, YouTube. This is Joey back again for Vlogtober Day 7. And I'm going to run out of uh, fingers <laughs> to hold up here in a few days. Uh, I have to switch to fingers and toes. So, today's topic is going to be human spaceflight and specifically the sad state of affairs in the United States. Um, currently, our human spaceflight program is no better than it was in 1960. In fact, in, w in many ways, it's, it's worse. Uh, uh, it does share some similarities. Uh, the first similarity is that in 1960, we had astronauts, but we didn't have any way of putting them into space. And that is currently the exactly the same situation that we have right now. We have astronauts and no way to put them in space. Uh, so that's uh, similarity number one. Uh, some of the, and pretty much the only similarity, because in, in 1960 they were developing uh, ways to put the astronauts that we had in the space and currently right now we are not as a nation developing a way to put the astronauts in space. We are ironically developing a spacecraft for them to ride in but there's no way to put that spacecraft into space. Uh, it's called the Orion capsule and it was part of the Constellation program and <laughs> it's I don't know I, I don't know how to describe it but it's there it's basically a um, a capsule like the Apollo type capsule it's it's a cone shaped uh, affair with a heat shield on the bottom and I think it's gonna have uh, the ability to, to haul seven astronauts but the, the problem is they canceled Constellation but they didn't cancel this thing so we have we have the vehicle but we don't have uh, a way of putting the vehicle in space and we're not even working on it so that would be like having the space shuttle but not having any engines on it and not having the solid rocket boosters attached to it so uh, it pretty much does us no good uh, there are some uh, things that certain companies are working on. I know SpaceX is working on uh, their Dragon capsule which also will be able to take seven astronauts to low earth orbit and uh, it's going to have the capability of docking with the International Space Station and I believe they're going to test that uh, either late this year or early next year uh, I'm not sure, I think uh, they keep uh, kind of pushing that back a little bit uh, but I think right now the plans are still on the drawing board for it to happen late this year so I'm not sure why they're having delays or whatever but uh, I know they've already tested their capsule as far as throwing it up and bringing it back down but they have not uh, attached it to the International Space Station yet so uh, that will be capable of carrying seven astronauts and also carrying cargo loads and uh, that is a privately funded company so uh, good for them and uh, I'd love to work for them I'd love to uh, get out there and uh, help them get that accomplished uh, but it's still I, th I still think that it's sad that uh, we had capabilities and we no longer have those capabilities um, another uh, set of good news in space though is the Chinese are working on their own space program they have a uh, 
uh, Space Station now. They just launched it uh, just a few weeks ago. And uh, it's very small. It's not as big as the International Space Station. It's similar to the uh, Russian Salyut stations uh, that they launched in the 1960s and 70s. So it's just kind of one big uh, self-contained station. It's not something that they're going to construct. So they're working on that. The Chinese, they're working on that. They have their own spacecraft, their own ability to put humans into space. So uh, I'm glad for that. They have a spacecraft. It's very similar to the Soyuz spacecraft that the Russians use, but it's larger and uh, just more modern. Uh, and the Russians, they have the capability of putting humans into space using technology that is not far in advance of the technology that they put their first human in space with. Um, the Soyuz is 1960s technology. It's updated, but it's still based on 1960s technology. Uh, the Soyuz rocket, the booster, is based on the R-7 intercontinental ballistic missile, which is the same uh, thing that put Sputnik into orbit is the same thing that put Yuri Gagarin into orbit. So uh, that technology is from the 1950s. So uh, they're still doing it with old technology, but they're still doing it. But we are not doing it. We are not doing it. And it's not that we don't have the technical capabilities of doing this. Uh, it's just we lack the will to do it and it's a crying shame too because right now in the year 2011 October of 2011 uh, the United States is stagnant we have no um, vision of the future that I can see I, I, we just don't we don't have any plans, we don't have any goals, uh, I mean I guess you could say the war on terror maybe is a goal, but I'll get into that in another video, it's kind of a pointless goal if you ask me. So um, we really lack any focus on what we're doing, and we're stagnant. And we've been stagnant for quite a while now. I mean, if you look, it's like if you look at uh, certain things, like the space program, uh, we've you know actually taken steps backwards. So if you look at things like uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, uh, my 401k, my uh, money, everybody's like put your money into the stock market because uh, your money will grow, it grows faster in the stock market, but if I had put money into the stock market when I first started working right out of college in the year 2000, uh, and I did, uh, that money has not grown in any significant manner since then. It has been completely stagnant. It's been up and it's been down. It's been up and it's been down, but it's it, over the course of those uh, 10 years, 10 to 11 years, it has not grown any. And that's been the same thing for this country. Uh, over the past, you know, 10 to 12 years, we have not grown as a country. We have not uh, moved up in any significant way that I can tell. Um, so I think that the solution to this problem is a number one finding a uh, a leader that is passionate about growing this country and not about uh, I'm not talking about 
some political, you know, jobs package and throwing money at people and cutting taxes or increasing the taxes on the rich and all this other bullshit that is going on right now. Uh, we need a leader that is going to set some goals for this country. A leader like John Kennedy who said that uh, uh, the reason we want to go to the moon is not because it's easy but because it's hard, because it's difficult. Uh, if you set a difficult goal for yourself then uh, that gives you something to work towards that that really uh, focuses you in on uh, attaining that goal and uh, you know making it uh, all the things that went along with going to the moon all of the technological advances and stuff like that uh, those came along because it was difficult it was something we had never done before so that's the kind of leader we need somebody who's gonna who's gonna say uh, we need to get out there and do things that are difficult and there's so many opportunities for that in our society right now uh, space just being one of those opportunities uh, but it is still an opportunity uh, we could go back to the moon which would still be hard uh, in today's even with today's technology still be difficult and uh, would lead to a lot of uh, additional advancements but that's just one stepping stone you know we can go to Mars uh, we could go to Jupiter and I'm talking about sending humans to these places we can go to Saturn uh, we could uh, explore the asteroids uh, and there are plans to do all of these things out there on the drawing board there are people thinking about these things uh, but there's no one there's no one in charge to uh, really focus us down that path and it doesn't have to be the president that does this it doesn't have to be uh, a member of congress or anything like that it could be a private citizen or a private uh, company that uh, helped us point us in these directions you know but having a president that would do that would be nice uh, and like I said it'd be more along the lines of a Kennedy uh, or Ronald Reagan or, or somebody that's going to give us a, uh, a a directed focus uh, to our uh, lives and is also going to give us some motivation uh, right, and right now I just don't see it I just don't see uh, any kind, anybody stepping forward including me, but I'm not a leader, but that that's another subject too, but um, I don't see anybody stepping forward, I don't see any of our current leadership, uh, the president now, or uh, anybody in his administration, I don't see any of the contenders, uh, the Republicans uh, that are out there, I don't see any of them as being this type of leader. Uh, so I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know where where we're going to get this leader from. I don't know if this type of person even exists anymore. Uh, or even if that person exists, I'm not sure that the American public would even respond to that type of person anymore. I'm not sure that we uh, have the, um, the will. I'm not sure that we have the uh, ability anymore to even respond when called to do something difficult. So that's pretty much all I've got to say about it. Um, it's a source of great frustration for me. Uh, I thought that when I was a kid, I thought that by now, you know, we would have people on Mars. We would, you know, we would have shoes that when you put them on, they lace themselves, <laughs> like in Back to the Future, um, and hoverboards, and uh, I just, I thought that we would have uh, progressed a lot more, and we have progressed in certain areas, 
uh, and in certain things that nobody suspected that we would progress in um, but for the most part uh, we have stagnated and, and in some cases even we have backslid so think about that in your daily life and what you can do to uh, help that situation if you live in the United States even if you live abroad if you live in Europe um, or China or Japan Africa anywhere think of uh, ways that you can start helping your government uh, or your um, even your local industry you know take a positive step forward start thinking of some goals what are your goals what should the goals for the human race be because uh, right now we don't have any and um, that would be something great and wonderful if we all had a goal to work toward that was a positive goal and uh, didn't involve killing other people so uh, that's all I got today peace out See you later. Bye.